time to take the dog out that it wasn't just pouring. Right, yeah. In our central and southern counties, we have that steady rain all day. The northern counties, you had a little more scattered activity, so a few more breaks in the rain. And today, we expect some more breaks in the rain area wide. This morning, many of us are starting off dry, but we do have a few showers out there already. And the potential from now to noon will be there for a passing shower in some spots. And then more develop in the mid to late afternoon. We'll see some rumbles of thunder at that time. Temperatures push into the mid 70s for highs, so right around 76 with a few more breaks in the rain. It's likely we'll get warmer than yesterday. And a breeze also ushering in some warmer air from the south. It's a 10 to 15 mile per hour wind, so again, it will be a little breezy throughout the day. Here's a check of live Doppler 2 HD rain now moving into Greenville uh, with some heavier downpours along 502 just west of town. Those extend back towards Union City across the state line. And then also up in southern Mercer County, we have some showers working around St. Henry. As we zoom out, you can see this cluster of thunderstorms in Indiana. That will continue to lift to the north and east. And we will again get clipped in the northwestern half of our area by some of that rain. That cold front to our northwest will eventually sweep through as we head into early Wednesday morning. And then the rain chances will finally come to an end. But until that happens, we still do have the potential for showers and even some thunderstorms. And we are in that slight risk for strong storms today into tonight. Looks like late afternoon, evening, and especially overnight, we'll have the chance for some stronger wind gusts. Also, that continued threat for heavy rainfall and those flash flood watches for most of Kentucky, southern Indiana, into southern Ohio and West Virginia. Those are in effect until tomorrow morning. So rain chances today still very high, although there will be some breaks in the rain. We have a 70% shot of some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Even tomorrow morning, there will be the chance of some early rain before it tapers off. And then we get a couple dry days, Thursday and Friday. It'll be a really nice finish to the week. Right now it's 69 degrees. Our dew point is 67. We have that strong south breeze coming in at 12 miles per hour, so already a little breezy. Many of us are in the upper 60s to right around 70 this morning. Temperatures are pretty uniform with the cloud cover around. And at 7 a.m., you can see a lot of that northwestern Miami Valley kind of getting that coverage of those showers, maybe an isolated rumble of thunder as this comes through. Then we do expect some breaks in the rain as we head towards lunchtime, so early afternoon, kind of a lull in the activity. But by mid to late afternoon, more showers and thunderstorms will be rolling through with some heavy rain, gusty wind. And the potential will continue this evening and into the overnight when we could have a line of showers and storms come through through tomorrow morning. Some of this could also produce those stronger wind gusts. And then tomorrow afternoon, we do dry out across the area as we also turn less humid. So scattered showers and thunderstorms likely today. We'll see highs near 76. It's going to feel more humid. Muggy tonight with a low of 64. Showers, thunderstorms still likely. And then tomorrow, some morning showers drying out in the afternoon. Uh, we'll see highs near 70 with a northwest wind developing. And Thursday looks really nice. Look at that chilly morning down to 50. Some of those outlying spots in the upper 40s. And we'll see highs near 69. In your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast, really nice conditions for the end of the week and into the weekend with highs in the 70s and lows in the 50s.